Hey guys, hope everyone is keeping safe and well out there today. Today is March the 30th and it is Eric Clapton's birthday, which has inspired me to do a little bit of a fun video on one of his classic tones. Now, I was brought up listening to Clapton a lot and I spent many, many hours just basically learning how to emulate his playing and stealing his licks. So I thought I would dive a little bit into one of my favorite tones, which is the Layla tone. Now I'm gonna be using a strap for this, obviously. So this is my 1983 Tokai Strat. This is the Essential Clapton guitar. Now to emulate the sound, I'm actually gonna be using my Line 6 Helix. So no, uh, no analog stuff here. We're going all digital and I'm gonna see if I can get close to that classic tone. So, let's load up a blank preset. Now, Clapton, at this stage in his career, used a small Fender Tweed amp and a Strat. So we're gonna try and get as close to that as we possibly can with the Helix. So the first thing I'm gonna do is load up an amp block. So I think a good choice would be the US Small Tweed. Now this is a typical eight inch style tweed amp. This is a pretty good approximation of what he probably would have used at that time. So straight away, the tone we get is. It's not quite that, but it's a good step in the right direction. It's got that sort of boxy sound that Clapton would have used. So let's play about with the settings a little bit and see what we can do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this all the way up channel volume and the master volume all the way up to 10 because he would have recorded at this point in his career very loud. Now let's set the EQ nice and flat. Let's set everything to about five, including the gain. Okay, that's sort of what we're looking for is a bass tone. So I'm gonna keep the high cut set pretty high because I want a lot of top end to come through on this. And Clapton was known for recording very loud with a microphone quite far away from his amp. So I'm gonna move this microphone back to about eight and a half inches away. And I want a little bit of reflection on that. Turn the volume on that up. This is sort of like a natural reverb sound. Okay, so this is starting to take shape a little bit now. So what have we got in the way of microphone? Clapton would have probably used a condenser of some type, I would imagine. So let's try the 84 condenser model. Okay, I like that. That works for me. I'll keep the low cut at about 80 hertz, the high cut up to about 15 and a half thousand, the reflections at 50, and the level of that I've pushed just to bring those reflections out a little bit more. On the front end, I've got the drive set to five, which I quite like. Uh, I'm gonna boost the bass a little bit because these small amps were known for being a bit toppy. And let's cut the treble a touch because we don't want it to be too bright. So let's take that down to about three, drop the presence down to about two. Okay, I think that's quite a good start on this. So what I really want now is a bit of reverb. So I'm gonna just add a reverb block here. Uh, I'm gonna go, let's go legacy reverbs. Mm. The 63 spring 
This is sort of your old 60s Fender style reverb. And I'll cut the delay a little bit, the decay, sorry. Uh, quite like the high cut being about there. Okay, that's a bit much. Uh, bring that down a little bit more. Okay, so this is starting to take shape a little bit now, but it needs a little bit more push at the front end. So I'm going to add a drive pedal in here. I'm not sure if he actually used one on the record, but I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to the sound by hitting the front of this amp a little harder. So let's try something like a clon maybe. I he wouldn't have used a clon at the time because they didn't come around until the 90s, but it might give the amp that little push that we're looking for. So I'll take the gain down and I'll use this like a clean boost. <laughs> Good test would be to play one of the classic riffs. Okay, that's not quite what I want. So let's try a couple of different drive pedals. Uh, I remember seeing someone say that the Proco Rat was a good uh, sort of 70s Clapton drive. So let's try... Oh, that's a lot again. Uh -huh. Let's try the Vermin Distortion. This should be quite good because it's got that sort of filter. So if I take the filter down, it can get a little bit nasal, which I think is probably quite good for that sound. Um, put the gain maybe on two. <laughs> take that level down just a touch because it's just clipping my sound card a little bit. Okay, a little bit more level, a little bit more gain. Okay, this is starting to take shape as that tone now. It's a little bit noisy because I'm using single coils. So let's just put a gate on there. Okay. Okay, so it's Pretty close, but I'm not fully happy with this. There's just something that's not quite sitting right for me. So let's go back to my amp. And maybe it's the mids. Maybe I'll take the mid down a little bit more. Scoop a little more of that mid frequency out. And maybe move my mic a little further away. And a little bit more volume. Okay, now I quite like this. So, I think we're pretty much where we need to be. So we've got the Strat in the second position pickup. And let's try a couple of licks from that album. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's pretty close and I don't think there's a lot of other tweaking I can do there. I want to keep the patch quite simple because he didn't really use a lot of stuff at the time. So I don't want to go adding a bunch of stuff to this that probably wasn't there in the first place. So I'm even going to take the Centaur out because that wasn't there. So, quick recap on this. We've got 
the US small tweed amp model on the Helix with the default speaker cabinet, the 1x8 speaker cabinet, with a condenser mic on set quite far away with quite a lot of early reflections built in. The EQ is very bass heavy, so the low end is really pushed and the high end is really, really rolled off. And I've pushed the channel on the master volume all the way up to simulate that amp really cooking. In front of it, I've got the vermin distortion patch, or the vermin distortion pedal, I should say, which is the Proco Rat style distortion, which is running with the gain on about four, the filter on two, and the level at about six and a half. And just after that, then I've got the 63 spring reverb, and that's just acting as a bit of space. So you can set the space to suit whatever your taste is. You might want it a bit drier, or you might want a little bit more room. I think he recorded the album quite dry, but I like that little bit of space around it as well. So I think we're pretty close there. So here is just a little bit more of that tone. <laughs> So there you go, there's my attempt at the classic Layla guitar sound using a Strat and the Line 6 Helix. Now obviously I'm not expecting this to be a carbon copy of the tone because this is just for a little bit of fun and it is Eric's birthday today. So happy birthday Eric and thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if anyone does want a copy of this patch for their own Helix, let me know in the comments down below and I will gladly share it with you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.